I'm finally going to read The Fourth Wing. I haven't read it. I've been anticipating this read for a long time now. It's been everywhere. Everybody's been talking about it. I have recently been so obsessed with the fantasy world, the fantasy side of reading, and I already know I'm going to have a huge obsession with this. I've been currently reading The Third of Glass series, and I am thriving. It's so amazing. I'm so attached to the characters. I'm attached to the storyline, so it's like I'm nervous for how attached I'm going to be to this book because people People are freaking out, like freaking out. This morning, I did a poll on my Instagram to decide what book I should do a reading vlog on next, and it was between The Fourth Wing and The Last Letter. I wanted to read The Fourth Wing for a reading vlog, but I just wanted to see if people wanted to see the other book as well. Some people did, but Fourth Wing won by 30%, so we're reading The Fourth Wing. I'm nervous, but I also am excited. I haven't done a reading vlog in a while. It's been a couple months, and the last time I did it, I had a lot of fun, so throughout the video, it'll be spoiled spoiler free and then if I decide to do a spoiler section in the end and like talk about my thoughts about certain things then I will warn you before it happens but as of right now we're good if you haven't read it I will just be reacting and updating you guys as I read through it and yeah I'm gonna go sit down and start this book oh my gosh I'm I'm nervous all right we're we're gonna go start so comfortable and cold and cozy in my big jacket and I started to fall asleep so uh, I'm getting up so that I can make some coffee update you guys on where I'm at and what I know so far what I think so far I think we need to get a hair clip because my hair is literally bothering me hold up okay we're good <laughs> So far, I met Violet, I met her mom and her sister, and their family is known for being writers, which is writers of dragons. Right now, we're kind of getting uh, her soft side, I guess you could say. Like, we don't know if she's gonna come to her like strong, independent woman energy yet. I don't, I don't know. Um, Something happened to my camera, but I think I fixed it. I'm gonna pull this shot really quick, and then I'll continue what I'm saying. We have our espresso, then pour it in. So basically, I got an introduction into the characters. Wait, I'm telling you this all out of order. I'm a mess. I'm on page 34. <laughs> That's what page I'm on. These words are literally tiny. They're so small. So it's taking me a while to read it. Basically, I read through the introduction of the book. I got background into the war college. I got kind of her family's history. The book starts off already like action packed and it, it grips you because I was, I'm genuinely so interested in it. The main character is a reader, love her already. She's 20, so she's my age. And so it feels like, it's just like really cool to like read through that. But also it's fun to read about the different quadrants. She's forced into the rider's quadrant, which is where the dragons are and having the riders like ride dragons and stuff for war. They have to go past this like deathly crosswalk in a way you could say in order to get to the college. That's how the first couple chapters start out. So already there's a lot happening. People are falling and dying. People are a aggressive and violent and she meets Zayden, which is her enemy. I'm a little bit annoyed because I also met Dane. And if you know who Dane is, then you know. And already I don't like him, not at all. I feel like he's annoying. <laughs> he's just like, he's very bossy. And I know he's being protective because him and Violet have known each other for a while, but it's like, shut up, just stop. That's what I've got so far. I've underlined a couple things too. What did I underline? Hold on. I underlined something that had to do with Zayden. I know that. Oh yeah, basically their families are enemies because of their history together. He's a rebel. After she meets him and before she like goes to cross 
across to the school. She notices him watching her and the sentence says, the hatred in Zayden's stare burns the side of my face like a palpable flame. The fact that he's staring at her like that so hard, there's more there than hatred. I think the other sentence I had underlined had to do with like her love of books because I really like her character. I just right now feel like she's still in that stage where she doesn't know how capable she is yet. She doubts herself and she's very fearful. So I don't know, but she said I've always loved the nights where storms beat against the fortress window Both illuminating and throwing shadows over the books I curled up with so I'm just connecting to violet on so many levels and I'm really enjoying that I haven't met the dragons yet. I'm anticipating reading them. I want to get to that already I've also seen a couple fan arts and they look literally awesome. They look amazing. So I I want to read through it Okay, there's 498 pages So I'm on 34 out of 498 and we are going to continue to read now that I made my coffee I Actually, let me finish this really quick. Okay, I've got my coffee, got my book. We're gonna go and continue to read. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. Literally thinking about coffee and then making it just woke me up more. So I'm ready to continue to read and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a decent a decent amount in. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, we read more. I just read the first appearance of dragons and I was looking forward to it. I told you guys so I said I would update when I did and pretty much they're in the writer's quadrant and they're talking about like their sections and their quadrant. It's like a military squad. It's really cool to like see it play out and like how they're getting sectioned off and stuff. And now I understand the fourth wing, which is the name of the book. I haven't read a book with dragons in it, so I'm freaking out. I'm, I'm living my best life right now. I love this book so far. So much is going on it, it really does feel like divergent in here it's just great i'm loving it i'm 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 loving it i'm going to continue reading now i just wanted to update you guys on that because oh my god <laughs> it's just so good it's so good but i'm gonna get back to reading now and i will i'll be back Okay, whoever has read this, this is not a spoiler. Just a, I'm just trying to get you guys' opinion. Does Zayden remind you of four? I don't know why this is giving me such like divergent. Zayden reminds me of four because he's one of the leaders and he like announces certain things. I'm just getting four vibes from him. I don't know if anybody else thinks that, let me know. Okay guys, I have my coffee and my book. Let's talk for a second, because it's been a day. So, let's talk about where I'm at. It's Thursday and I started filming on Tuesday. I read a lot on Tuesday and then I read a little bit yesterday, but not enough to film. I'm on page 142 out of 490, so I'm a little bit of the ways away, but I'm not like far, far. Today I plan to get far and hopefully tomorrow finish. Really depends on how my days go, but I've been enjoying my time reading this book in Entirely. I haven't been bored. I haven't had anything negative to say about it. Finally getting to a point where Violet is realizing that she's a strong independent woman and she's capable of anything. She originally didn't want to go but now she wants to see where she can go with this and if she's truly capable or not. I still think Dana's annoying. I think Zayden is great. Zayden is okay personal opinion but if you read Shatter Me and Fourth Wing, Dane is like Adam Ken. Dane is an Adam Ken and Zayden is an Aaron Warner, kind of. But Zayden, I feel like, has a little bit of a better heart. He's not as cold as Aaron Warner was. But at the same time, it's literally the same thing. Same thing with, like, Tamlin and Resand. It's literally the same dynamic. These guys try to be so, you know, overprotective and overbearing and keep the girls from their potential. And then you have the guy that's like, go do your thing. You're capable of a lot more. That's where we're at with the characters and the character development. The plot is really good. It's literally, like, divergent. They do things to prep them to bond 
with a dragon and then it's like very intense and tough things that they have to get through oh gosh you literally can see my blinds are broken don't pay attention to that that's embarrassing Rhiannon I think is how you say her name Violet's friend I love her she's great the world building too is really nice the only thing I can't imagine is if you've read the book how do you picture the gauntlet because this is like an obstacle course that they have to go through right I cannot picture it for the life of me I've been trying but I just can't like put it all together because it's hanging off the edge of a cliff too what am I what am I picturing here I tried to look up fan art on it but I, I couldn't find anything so if you guys read and you imagine can you describe to me what you imagine that way I can like place a better picture in my head I guess I'm gonna stop talking I need to shut up I'm gonna start reading now and I will update you guys again oh where am I at right now I'm on presentation day so if you've read it you know what presentation day is I'm like reading through that right now I'm 21% in that's not a lot at all I need to read a lot today I will be back <music> Hey guys, I'm back. It's literally a week later. <laughs> I don't understand what happened, but I stopped reading. It wasn't because the book wasn't good. I just, I would read a couple pages a day and then that's it. I'm back and I'm reading again. The last time I think I checked in, I don't remember where I was at. I think it was on page, honestly, I don't know, but I know that I filmed a little bit reading last night when I got to like two something. I read more and now I'm on page 356. I have been annotating this book. If you want to see that, all my little tabs are there and I've been using my tabs where I can write on them so I can write like little notes and stuff inside of the book and I literally love it so much. It's so much fun. Just now I was giggling to myself because I was reading. I'm reading in my car right now while I wait for my mom. I'm obsessed with this book. It's not even funny. The smile that I have right now is because of this book. <sighs> the slow burn i love slow burn so much because the moment that we get to a romance point and it's like it's build up especially enemies to lovers and the slow burn enemies to lovers it's like oh my gosh it's the best combination because it makes you appreciate when they get together more if that makes sense i don't know i'm obsessed i love it it's so amazing so much more has happened the dragons have bonded oh my gosh literally <laughs> even that was so wild to me i'm just obsessed with every single detail of this book i still love zayden i still think dane's annoying violet yes strong independent woman she's growing into her character and she's only developing more and more so i'm happy about that i know this is gonna be a five-star read i'm sorry i haven't finished it so it's probably not good that i'm saying that right now but i know i'm gonna keep reading and i will update you guys again i think whenever i finish the book i'm gonna try and get through a lot tonight if i don't finish tonight i'm definitely finishing tomorrow and then i will update you guys and finish off this video hopefully if you haven't read fourth wing read it it's so good it's so good okay i'm gonna shut up now i'm gonna continue reading i will be back video my dog is snoring in the background so if you hear him i'm sorry i got a new microphone i i was using it in the last clip i don't know if it even sounds weird if i need to get quieter as i i'm literally dumb okay i'm gonna put it back down i finished reading the fourth wing i gave it five stars is anybody surprised no i knew it was coming it was incredible the book was written so well i was never bored there was a period of time where i stopped reading it and it had nothing to do with the book you guys saw the couple days in between it took me like a week and a half to read this book but that's because of everything else going on you know how life gets oh i look like a bald man now okay so to clarify i have come to the conclusion that the book is worth the hype hmm. i've never annotated a book the way i did this one i've tried annotating a little bit in other books and i'll put like two or three tabs in it here and there and i just stop but this one just just 
take a look. I know people annotate a lot more than that, but still, this is a lot for me. And I'm really happy that I did it because now I get to look back on the stuff that made me feel things the first time I read through. So that makes me really, really happy. I actually put notes down for it so that I can point out like what specifically I liked about the book. This is Enemies to Lovers. It's also a slow burn romance, so it's like even better. I love slow burn because the moment that you get the romance part where it's like, okay, yeah, uh-huh, they're, then they're there. You had to work to get somewhere. You had to read through a lot in order to get to that part. And it's like the best. It's just the best. I felt the same way with the Cruel Prince series. If you haven't read that, that's another slow burn. That one's a lot more political. This one has a lot of romance in it. But anywho, Fourth Wing takes place in a war college. These people are training to go and bond dragons to fight in the war. Dragons have their own thing. There's like laws, politics, all of that involved in here. It's insane. I think that the character development in this book is spot on. It's amazing. For me, characters have to have really good character development or they have to just be characters that I like in order for me to like the book. And I liked the characters and the character development. I saw so much in the main girl. She started off like, you know, fragile, unsure, and then she just grew into this strong, like independent woman. And I love seeing that. Even with the other characters, I got a lot of character development from Liam, from Zayden. I don't know how do you say her name, Rhiannon? It's Violet's best friend, but she was great. Ridoff, Rydoff, I don't know how you say his name either. He was funny. I loved his character. There's always that one funny friend. It was just genuinely so good. I'm telling you right now, it's like Divergent. And then you have another Adam Kett and Aaron Warner situation. I'm telling you right now. Dane is annoying. Don't like him. So if you read it and you know, you know why I don't. He's just annoying. There's two, no, there's a couple plot twists inside of the book as well. And those things were like, oh my gosh. That very last plot twist, I was like, I had like an inkling I was like, there's no way. But then again, but there's no way. And then it happened and I was like, what in the world did I just read? I am anticipating the second book so bad. It's not even funny. The dragons, I love them. It was just incredible. The fact that it's over is honestly making me really sad. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really have words. <laughs> this is really sad and depressing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that I convinced you maybe with just my reactions a little bit to read the book. I'm telling you right now, if you haven't, I would read it. I, I genuinely loved it so much. I thought it was incredible. I thought it was amazing. And I would recommend it a million times over. So if you haven't, read it. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this long process. See you in the next one. Bye.